Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you haven't already, so in today's video, we're going to be content. testing the Electron Cycle 60 volt, 63 amp hour battery against the stock Suron battery. We're also going to be doing a range test as well as a top speed test. So stay tuned to find out what the results are. So some specs on the 60 volt, 63 amp hour battery from Electron Cycles. I did reach out to Electron Cycles before making this video and asked them for the stats and specs on this battery. And I've got a list here on my phone that I'm going to read out now because there's far too many for me to remember. So the total capacity of this battery is 3,780 watt hours. This figure is very important for comparing various batteries from different brands. as It gives you the true capacity rather than just like 63 amp hours or whatever. It's made up of Panasonic 21700 cells, which are not pouch cells like most manufacturers. They're cylindrical cells. It's got a fully functioning Bluetooth BMS, which shuts down the battery if it detects any faults, such as over temperature or over current drawing from the battery. Uh, it's got a stainless steel insulated casing, unlike the others that have heat shrink wrapped around them. And inside this battery is fully insulated. It doesn't have any pieces of wood or expanding foam like some brands, <coughs> EBMX. So overall, I'm very happy with the build of this battery and the quality of it. The stock Suron battery is 60 volt and 32 amp hours, made up of cylindrical cells and also has a BMS. So something else to keep in mind is that the Teleria rear tyre is probably the widest and most knobbly tyre I could find, which makes a massive difference in terms of rolling resistance as well as rolling weight. The Suron also has an aftermarket tyre, it's a Dunlop Geomax MX33, but it's way smaller as it's still the standard size 70119. And it's also a lot less knobbly, so it will make a large difference on the range. Please bear this in mind when we do the comparison. So both bikes have been fully charged. The Teleria is on 66 volts and the Suron is on 100% as the Suron has a percentage display and the aftermarket batteries have a voltage display. So now we're going to go out for a ride and compare these two batteries to see what they're good at and not so good at. So this should give us an accurate reading of our distance as well as our speed. So we've done three miles at fairly high speeds, probably averaging about 35 mile an hour. How much battery have you got? I'd say 87%. 87. I've still got 65. You can't see it because it's LED. You've got, I've got 65.2 volts. Um, we'll do another three miles and then we'll check in again. I suspect by then that will be down to about 70%. Because on the Suron, uh, as the voltage decreases, you get a much more sag. So you lose power. And it, once you get past like 70%, it, the power decreases much quicker. Whereas this is very linear. as it's, And it can run down to 48 volts. Whereas that can only run down to, I think, 54 volts. So, yeah. So we've been out for half an hour. We've just completed six miles. So everyone's got 70% battery. 70% and the Teleria has 64.4 volts left still. 
Uh, yeah, I'll put a voltage chart up on the screen now so you can see what percent 64.4 volts actually equates to. Now we're going to ride some more and we'll check it in three more miles. Okay, three, two, one, go. So we are at 9.3 miles, 52 minutes. So one's got 60% battery. And the Tolera is on 63 volts. So again, I'll put up the uh, voltage display on the screen and you'll see what that equates to. Are these your new bikes? Uh, well, we've had them for a couple of years now, but yeah, they are electric. Ah. And they replace motocross yeah. bikes, so they're not did really... Get, did you ever drive over with your petrol ones? No, not in the forest. All right, because there was a whole load of them doing it. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit uh, rude, anti... Oh, you're very cool here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, have a good day. Okay, so the Suron's on what? 25%. And this bike's on 61.2. 15.44 miles in an hour and 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna bring up the voltage chart to see what that equals, but I'm pretty sure that's probably around 70%. And that's on 25%. So if we do the math, this has over double the range, but yeah, I'll- But this bike is four years old, so it's bound to have degraded a bit over time. That's true. But it just goes to show you what difference this battery makes. I don't really think you need a 72 volt, to be honest. So looking at my Strava, we traveled 15 and a half miles and my miles per hour top speed was 55. Usually my phone, when it's recording this, is usually 10% under. So that's about 60 miles per hour. And that lines up with what my Garmin said. So 60 mile an hour, very impressive. Since I bought my battery for my Electron Cycles, they've changed the handle design for easier access and they've also now supply a foam block with the battery so you can wedge it in there and really get that snug in the bike and have no rattle. Um, I didn't have any rattles anyway, but that's always nice. This battery, in conclusion, is a beast. I am thoroughly impressed with it. I can do over 60 miles per hour, probably get 60 to 70 miles of range on a charge. It's absolutely amazing. If, if you want to purchase one of these batteries for yourself, just head over to Electron Cycles website. If I'm you made it this far, well, thank you for watching. Did. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you in the next oh, one. Cheers. My God. I'm, I'm soaked. I am soaked.